You're My Best Friend, a miraculous ladybug fanfiction written and narrated by Miro Rose, with artwork for the opening and thumbnail image by Airu on Pixiv, also known as Jin One Game Love. I'll have them linked in the description box below. My cat's trying to get in the recording booth. Hold on. Buddy, dude, we've talked about this. Please enjoy You're My Best Friend. Adrian Agrest as Cat Noir. After school on a Friday. Hey, Ladybug? Hmm? Cat Noir laid on a roof with his partner, staring at the sky and listening to traffic. You're my best friend. You know that? Cat, I'm your girlfriend. I hope I'm one of your best friends. He smiled, reaching up to touch her hair. Ooh. Say that again. Cat, please. He closed his eyes and pictured her rolling hers. You're my boyfriend. Ooh, that's nice. But that's not what you said. I'm one of your best friends? Oh, come on, Ladybug. What? Are you disappointed your girlfriend is your best friend? That word... That one right there. That's the one. Cat, we've been over this. I'm your girlfriend now. I know, right? How'd that happen? He grinned at the sky as she sighed. You're my girlfriend. I won't be for much longer if you keep this up. He sat up, twisting to look at her. What, you don't want a puppy dog love face from me? I'm dating a man in cat ears. Eh, touche. He laid back down. Still gonna give you puppy love. Thanks. That didn't feel very enthusiastic, my lady. He felt her reach for his hand, and Cat squeezed back. I had this wicked science project this week, she said. Yeah? Me too. Didn't get it done on time, though. A shame. I could have bought you dinner and we'd have worked on it together. You realize the chances of us having the same type of science project is slim to none, right? Yeah, but at least I'd be doing something with you that didn't involve butterflies or propaganda. Ah, right. Ladybug stretched, ruffling his hair as she reached to the sky. I thought you wanted me to have butterflies for you. Are you laying on propaganda right now, LB? They laughed, her hair tickling his cheek. It'd be nice if we went to school together, she said. A beat passed as the wind caressed them, and Cat smiled to himself. Yeah, it would. But it wouldn't change the fact that I will beat you at Mario Kart every time. Okay, clearly Mario Party is the superior game. Don't even try me like that. That's only because you have a freak chance of winning. You're horrible, you know that? You're my best friend. I have to tease you. Hmm. Good to know I'm hanging out with my best friend and not a boyfriend. Cat twisted, propping himself on his elbows to look at his girl. Eh? boyfriend? You have more than one? She laughed. No, that's not what I meant. Ladybug reached up and flicked his bell. You're my number one, and only one. Are we talking best friends or boyfriends? Cat Noir! He laid back down, grinning, and nestled into her neck. I'm happy we're dating. Ladybug, you said that last week. I meant it then, too. Me, too. She twisted to kiss his forehead, and his toes tingled at the touch. Me, too. It's gonna be a month soon. He couldn't keep the excitement to himself. Wanna do something special? Beat you at Mario Party, obviously. Oh, I can let you win any day of the week, my lady. I was thinking of something more special. 
Um, I don't mean to distract you from the moment, but I remembered what I wanted to ask you before. Oh? Ladybug scratched under her chin. What do you say we get the heroes together for a Mario Party-style party? Like, the video game or a really good Pinterest idea? The Pinterest kind. Take the mini-games from Mario Party and play them in person. Ooh, forget our month anniversary. I'll take real-life Mario Party with our friends. Am I only your best friend because you don't have very many friends, Kitty? Rude. Not entirely incorrect, but still rude. I just really like hanging out with people. What if we told them there? told them. Cat sat up again, eyebrows raised. Like, tell them? Tell them? She crossed her legs as she pushed herself upright. Yeah, if we make it a month, we should tell our partners we're dating. The tingle from Cat's toes buzzed into his chest, vibrating the butterflies in his stomach on the way up. I'd... I'd like that, he said. I'd like that a lot. Great. We'll announce I'm your best friend and then throw water balloons. You are such a tease, my lady. He pressed a kiss to her cheek, smiling too wide to aim for her lips. Such a tease. I know. Ladybug caught his chin with her knuckles and turned his lips to hers. That's one of the reasons why we're best friends. You're not gonna let my declaration go, are you? She silenced him with a kiss, turning his sentence into a murmur. It's weird seeing you in public now, she confessed, eyes closed, when I'm not wearing a mask. Is it? Because I can't just run up and throw my arms around you. From the press? No, I don't care about photos. It's the whole secret identity thing, you know? Yeah. Cat pulled her to his chest. When my eyes meet yours, sometimes I wonder if you'll recognize me. Soon. Her words hit his shoulder, warming it with her breath. Soon, but not yet. I can't wait to find out who you are. Me too, Kitty. She returned the hug, fingers pressing into his back. Me too. I'm gonna be the best boyfriend ever once we get rid of these masks. (laughs) Yeah, same. You're going to be a great boyfriend? Cat, no har! She pushed away, and he knew it was only so she could give him a look. You know what I mean. I know, he laughed. The opportunity was right there. She sighed and rolled her eyes, leaning back into his chest. You're my best friend, too. I can't wait to meet you. Me too, Kitty. Me too. Cat stared at the sky, listening to traffic. It was just another Friday after school, but somehow the sky was beautiful and he couldn't hold the happiness in his smile. It dripped into his heart, filling him up on the inside. He was dating his best friend. Ladybug was his girlfriend. It wasn't the first time everything felt right since getting his ring and finding new forms of freedom, but he felt lucky all the same. This black cat had his own lucky charm as a best friend and a girlfriend. Thank you so much for listening. That was the Miraculous Ladybug fanfiction titled You're My Best Friend, read for you in an audiobook format 
by me, Mira Rose. I wrote it. I narrated it. If you liked this, please give this video a like and a comment to support the YouTube algorithm. If you aren't sure what to comment, put best friends. Also, if you like this, check out other videos on this channel. It's full of miraculous ladybug-themed content, specifically audiobook fanfiction. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!